Hi guys, this is Anna Anders Humbly here on the YouTube channel. I don't like the way this is looking, so I gotta stop the video. Well, actually maybe not, let's see. Okay, anyways, this is Anna Anders on the YouTube channel. I just wanted to throw this out here. Today is Monday, May 1st, and this morning I kinda, my videos kinda got interrupted a little bit, un poquito, but um, I wanted to throw this question out to you guys. To consider you know either you consider it or you don't but what I wanted to ask you is what's the difference between a fact-finding inventory of observing of observing and questioning someone or something or some situation versus being critical and judgmental right off the bat and throwing people or persons and situations under the bus of everyday life so, for example, I want to give you a question. So, for example, who owns the diamond mines in Africa today exactly? And is it the Africans? And how has that benefited the Africans from past to present day 2017? Who owns the diamond mines? Is it the Africans? Because, I mean, the Africans were and are indigenous to Africa. So, to me, it only stands to reason that the Africans would own their own diamond mines. That's the way I perceive life. Um, so I want to know, if it isn't the Africans, how did that come to be in our history? In our history of life, how is it that the Africans don't own their diamond mines? Can someone answer that question for me, please, and thank you. Um, and also, not only the diamond mines in Africa, but all the natural resources in Africa today. I don't know what all the natural resources are in Africa, but do the Africans own all their natural resources? That's what I want to ask people. And, uh, and if so, how are they benefiting the Africans today? And I also want to ask about other cultures as well. Other cultures in the Middle East. How are they benefiting from all the natural resources in their areas specifically?